IT is clear, IEB theory and PRAC. How to validate user input in a Java program. Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to do input with validation. So I'm going to start a new Java project. I, tick, I click the orange block with the big green plus. I go next to run a Java application, to create a Java application. I'm going to call it input with validation. And I click finish to create the project. So what I'm going to do is to declare an integer called num, actually let's call it age. I'm going to set it equal to minus 10, which is not a valid age. Now I'm going to input age. So age equals integer dot percent, j option pane dot show input dialog, input your age. What can go wrong when we input an age? Let's just do the import. There are two things that can go wrong. Users sometimes input letters instead of numbers. The other thing that they could do wrong is that they input an invalid age like 150 or minus 20. So let's first deal with what they can do wrong with inputting letters instead of numbers. That will cause a number format exception, which usually crashes your program. If we put a try catch around it, around the input, to catch the number format exception, and we just put a print and we say, please input a number. And we then run that. If they input letters, we will get this printout. But we also want to make, force them to re-input the age if they do input numbers. So we're going to put a do while loop around this whole block of with the try catch in it. And the do while will say while the age is less than zero or, we use the exclusive or, the age is greater than 120, we are going to force the user to re-input. Don't forget to do Alt-Shift-F to make sure that your program is neatly indented. Let's run this program and see what happens. So it's busy compiling, got quite a slow computer. And we now get input your age. If we type in a letter, I just input PBP. I've got please input a number, which it came from the, the try catch. So I now input minus 20. And it just keeps repeating input your age. As long as I input nonsense, it's going to ask for my age again. Eventually, let's put my real age in. And I get past that point in the program and the program ends. So this is how you can do validation and check that your user doesn't type in nonsense.